The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour on a very special Power Trading Hour. We're off 90 points on the S&P cash. And it doesn't really matter what the market's doing as long as you're here at the right and appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Uh, yeah, we have a real groaner today. I know it. I knew it when going in, but I loved it so much. Uh, anyway, uh, so let's take a look at it. What is going on with the sit rep? I think there's one thing that really is uh, roiling the markets, and that's the last 24 hours. Uh, and that is the boys are back in town. Yeah, Thin Lizzy. What is that, 1975-ish? Yeah. Anyway, uh, too bad we can't even play a second of that wonderful song. But the boys are back in town. Those boys are the Bond Vigilantes. They're having no part of the uh, big uh, spending bill. And, of course, uh, everything is kind of like something else in the market before, but not exactly the same thing. Uh, we brought up uh, very early uh, in the year uh, some major breaks uh, as we watch the, the bond market, well, we've got uh, the bond vigilantes selling left and right. Uh, when we look at the TLT today, we broke through uh, the level, which is about 146, which is really where you know, 145.50, which is what really needed to hold, uh, trading at 144.70 on the TLT. And, of course, that's the 10, 20-year bonds. Gives you a good... Uh, feel in there. But if anybody's going to do anything big other than, you know, buy, I don't know, something that they pay off in six months, uh, that's going to affect everything. Of course, uh, they could drive the rates up uh, so that the uh, government starts having digging itself a hole. And, you know, can the Treasury kind of push on the other side? Yeah. But they're trying to take care of other problems. Um I always remember a great line from uh, Goodfellas uh, where uh, the protagonist, that's the guy that is the main guy in a movie if you live in Lutz. Uh, Mr. Protagonist uh, is uh, walking around talking to everybody, uh, breaking down the fourth wall in the movie. He says, uh, it's not like that, uh, you know, where you, you, uh, in the, you know, where you see in the movies where people uh, – come up to you and you get in a fight, they come up to you with smiles. They don't, you know, they're, they're not going to let you know they're going to whack you. And it's kind of like that. There's nobody really threatening anything. It's not like they're, they have a, a, a meeting out back and fly flags and uh, have a protest. Uh, the bond vigilantes vote with their uh, dollars. And if they start getting nervous, uh, they start letting the bonds fly. Um, as I said, everything's kind of like something before the market, probably most like, uh, I'm going to say 1994 to 1999-ish. And that is when the bond vigilantes were probably the most feared bunch on Wall Street. Most people that trade equities, we kind of look at a still lake with the uh, equities and we think, hey, there's a lot of action going on here. But you never really know how deep the, the pond is. Well, it's 10 times worse in the bond market because it's 10 times, almost 12 times uh, bigger now. And, uh, in fact, uh, the chief uh, strategist for the uh, war room in the Clinton years uh, uh, always said, um, you know, if he comes back, uh, he thought he'd like to come back as Babe Ruth or uh, some other 400 uh, hitting person or the, uh, the best uh, running back in the NFL or a lot of stuff. But he said, no, he says, if I come back, I want to be the bond market. You can intimidate anybody, including presidents, 
speakers of the House and Senate, uh, literally uh, the Fed, there's only one thing you can do, and that's uh, go after the bond market. Well, they're after it, and they're not going to stop, I think, until there's probably um, a much reduced bill coming out of the House. And, of course, uh, we get some kind of a debt limit extension. Uh, I purposely turned the TV off and just watched the charts today rather quietly. My guess is that there will be no respite before the end of the day. If we don't have a Speaker of the House come out and say, you know what, eh, maybe, uh, maybe next year we'll have to think about it a little bit farther. I think they're going to keep going at it. So watch that TLT real close. 145.50 is really kind of where uh, you want to see uh, this come back up if we're expecting a bounce. Uh, doesn't mean we have to go lower uh, in the equities, but I do think that a lot of people uh, around this area start getting uh, scared because really, if you look at this as a break for the day, uh, this takes the TLT back to 138. And possibly... Uh, what I've been thinking about uh, a long term is back down to 132. So let's keep an eye on it. Uh, but I don't think there's a lot that the equity market can do. It is the tail on the dog, not the dog on the tail. Uh, and uh, it is the most important thing. Now, if you're talking about stocks that could possibly bounce once we find a low, generally the best uh, of these are tech stocks because they can find a lot of people that'll throw money at the problem. Uh, we're big industrial stocks where it takes huge amounts of money uh, to get a more probable but uh, less margin-y uh, kind of uh, uh, return uh, tends to be the ones that uh, are it. Uh, as I said yesterday, Intel spending $18 billion on a new facility that's going to take uh, at least 24 months to start producing. They are going to hate that. What they're going to like is lots of people throwing $18 billion at a company uh, on a secondary or something else where that money is not borrowed, but par uh, part of the equity. Anyway, as far as I can tell, uh, I don't see any low out here short of a uh, of a uh, um, <clears throat> a, a big announcement which I do not suspect happens today. Uh, give me a call today, 877-927-6648. And, uh, you know, I've got a couple of stocks that everybody's asking me about. I'll probably write about them uh, for my newsletter. So I'm going to avoid those today. And since all of them are about two stocks um, that I'm going to, have out in the newsletter, I'll probably just put out an update before the end of the day or first thing in the morning. I don't see any reason uh, to, uh, and I'll go back to another uh, early 70s reference uh, to uh, sing Billy, Don't Be a Hero. I don't see any reason for jumping in front of this freight train before the end of the day. We'll be back like a bad rash after this time out. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And the first question of the day is from Hector. Um, yeah, Caterpillar is up a little bit here. Now, of course, uh, a lot of people thinking it's there's not a lot of volume. Um, a lot of people thinking there's going to be some kind of bricks and shovel uh, thing come out of Congress. Uh, when I've read the inside, the Beltway guys about what's inside it, uh, there aren't a lot of bridges or anything else. Uh, it tends to be a lot of the stuff that we saw pretty much in 20, uh, 2009, 2010. Um, <clears throat> it's not a lot of jobs. Um, a lot of people are going to talk about it. They're calling it human infrastructure, uh, which means that it's not actual in infrastructure, which means that it's just money uh, that we might as well toss out of a plane, at least in my opinion. So, no, I'm thinking, yeah, there's a little bit of that coming in. So maybe there, there's that. Uh, but um, I, I'm not exactly sure what you're thinking about on Caterpillar, but you just filled the gap on very, very light volume. Uh, I would be very worried about it. Uh, when we go back to the... Uh, Go back to the, uh, oh, uh, yeah, the S&P. Um, had a question about double repo patterns. Um, normally, you're going up in these, uh, but this is generally what you have happen, and that is they just gap right through uh, to the downside. Um, you got all the volume in the world uh, right now. Um, we'll have to see, but it uh, looks like we're going to be at least uh, maybe a couple billion shares higher uh, today on the S&P cash. And while we didn't have the kind of volume we had before, that was the, stock, uh, the bond market was holding up fairly well. Uh, now we've got uh, the rats uh, jumping off both ships, equities and uh, bonds. And uh, that's the kind of thing that a market really can't handle. Again, 12 times 
uh, as far as dollars, uh, the equity market is the bond market. Uh, and if you can't uh, get a bond market uh, going, uh, you've got a lot of problems. So uh, keep an eye on that. In fact, that's what I'm watching more than anything. Uh, uh, as far as total volume, we're already doing about 8.2 billion shares on the CBOE. So that's going to be a big day. Uh, let's see if I went back and looked at it. Yeah, I'll think about it. Uh, other things, a lot of people are asking me about stocks that I'll put in a uh, update for my subscribers. I'll stay about, stay away uh, from the ones that I cover uh, and uh, put them in the newsletter. But uh, yeah, I don't think that there's anything worth going after today. Uh, some people thinking that maybe uh, they buy tonight and hope that it opens up t tomorrow after an announcement that makes everybody a little bit happier. But I think I think not. I think we're going to get a couple of days. And, of course, Thursday, probably the real big respite uh, with the uh, Fed normally coming in with cash uh, either early morning or the afternoon on Thursdays uh, continuing. I don't see any chance that that's now that the markets are headed down and the bond markets are headed down. I don't think that they uh, they head out to the uh, uh, to some place to hide. I think they're going to probably continue to be rather and quite active. Um, anyway, uh, we'll look at some other ones. Uh, we were talking about the SMHs yesterday about being problematic. Um, this would have been your target to uh, sell instantly if you're a trader. Uh, and that was anything below that three by three. This is kind of more the pattern you get. We'll look at the uh, nine uh, nine day, and you can see, you know, they're both kind of in that same kind of vein. I just like the three by three because it gives you a little bit more of a uh, heads up uh, and what you're looking for in the next few days. Uh, not only uh, did you not want the SMHs to go down, they kind of had to stay up. Uh, to not break that. But you've got, uh, what, uh, 20 days above. You had one, two, three, four days below, three days above, and then that's it. But you you should really keep an eye on this pattern, whether it's used on the nine day. Um, it's, a, it's a loose description, or it's probably the best description of uh, a uh, market that's ready to, to fall. Uh, and that is, or a ETF or even an individual stock. But I really like this um, if you get into an ETF or the market uh, in total. And that is this thing. Anyway, uh, you can see the volume in this one already. Uh, we've got, uh, what, 3.8 million shares already compared to 3.9 million shares back on the 20th when we gapped down. So this is the second gap down, although we filled the first one. Um, that's another reason why I would think that we have a good chance of yet another gap down tomorrow or the next day. And once we get that in and the volume dries up, I think we could make a low in this market. I'm not looking for the end of the world uh, and never really am. Um, like I said, I think we've got one more day and it may be tomorrow. Maybe we just go sideways tomorrow. Maybe we gap down on Thursday, the Fed cash comes in. Maybe everybody figures out a way to sing Kumbaya, give up on the big spending. But the uh, bond vigilantes, uh, you know, uh, like they said, they can intimidate anybody. And I mean anybody, uh, because I'll guarantee you the phone calls are flying in Washington, D.C., not only on those 401ks, uh, but the big boys who are looking at paying more for money and never like to. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, eh, temporary bottoms, maybe. Generally, they get retested. Just depends on how long. Okay, what else do we have out here? Um, we had some stocks kind of blow out earlier in the day. Uh, question uh, from Ron about Twitter. TWTR. TWTR. Uh, I'll put it on here. Um, yeah, you're just in a bigger trading range here. I 
don't think that there's a lot of um, good coming out of social media in the near future. I'll look at Facebook next. Uh, you're down below it, but yeah, I don't think until you get down to 5848, I don't think there's a lot of reasons to think about Twitter. Uh, if it doesn't do that, then with lighter volume, then I would say that there isn't a whole lot there. Let's take a quick look at fascist book. Um, not a real bounce in this at all. Uh, again, they've got a lot of things going against them in the uh, near future. I wrote about it in the Tech Insider on Friday. I don't think that there's a whole lot going on here. The thing hasn't been able to break back above its three by three uh, since it rolled over. Not as much volume as you would think. But my guess is we still have uh, a bit farther to go. Like I said, maybe a couple more days. We'll be back in a minute. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. There is no doubt a bit of history repeated. On this day in 1997, uh, that is a date in the past, uh, the first Crazy Ones ad runs. And, of course, this is just a week after uh, Steve Jobs is installed as the CEO once again of Apple. Uh, Steve was, uh, he didn't say it a lot, but he did say it a little bit, and that is that he steals from the best. 
Uh, the ad was really based on a quote from uh, George Bernard Shaw. The reasonable man adapts himself to the world. The unreasonable one persists in trying to adapt the world to himself. Therefore, all progress depends on the unreasonable man. And uh, it is widely thought, at least in my brain, which is the only one that counts, uh, that this is what uh, was given to the ad company uh, to run one week after he became the CEO. Uh, and the ad uh, came out. And I can't play it because there's some music behind it. But uh, here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in a square hole, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules. They have no respect for the status quo. You can't quote them, disagree with them, glorify them or vilify them. But you uh, but the only things you can do is ignore them. But the only thing you can oh can't do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward. And why some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius because the people are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. And, of course, uh, I talked a, a, I don't know, a week ago during their show, Dog and Pony show, about how much uh, Steve Jobs spent uh, in – researching propaganda, uh, advertising, and marketing. Uh, he certainly wasn't the, uh, the, the opposite side of the coin, which was uh, uh, the Microsoft kind of version of life. Uh, he was a bomb thrower. Uh, Microsoft was going to be an instrumentalist uh, or incrementalist. And, uh, but... It really put everybody on notice that he was back. It really takes six more years before he could turn the corner. A lot of that was selling the company that he had, which was called Next, which is really just a version of Linux uh, with a better graphic interface. Um, and uh, so kind of the Macintosh is really still based on that, uh, what, uh, 25 years later. Um, but uh, so pretty good, good operating system. Um, much more what I would like to have than Windows. Uh, there were a lot of reasons why uh, Windows and, and Microsoft ended up with what they had. It mostly had to do with the processor that wasn't good at multitasking. Uh, through Herculean effort, Microsoft has been able to make that model work, uh, but uh, it, it's been tougher. Anyway, um, on this day, probably... Uh, the second most uh, thought of ad in the uh, advertiser kind of folks in that it defined a company going forward. Uh, I think the one thing is you haven't ever seen an ad like that in the last uh, 12 years from Apple. I don't think you're going to see the same thing. There's they, they call it the vision thing in technology. But uh, like I said, CFOs, not big on that. Uh, you need a Captain Kirk for every every Spock, and uh, all you got there at Apple now is the Spock, not a dumb guy, just not one that's willing to take chances and risks and really define an all-out mission. More, uh, more uh, kind of a Microsoft model on that. Uh, uh, did I discuss window dressing yet? No, I did not. Uh, and is this just another sector rotation event? No. Uh, if Powell is not reappointed as Fed chair, uh, does the market crash? No. Um, An unkind word for Elizabeth Warren, and it doesn't have anything to do with her heritage, uh, but uh, her lineage, is squealing negatively about him. So what can we say? I don't think it really matters uh, on the Fed. They're going to do the same thing. These guys are all in the same club. Uh, I don't think it's as big a problem as everybody may be thinking it is. Um, but I do think that if you had an idea that they were going to tighten, uh, anybody that replaces him was going to probably be less uh, interested in tightening. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, the bond vigilantes – are going to take care of anybody that does that. And 
if you can think of anything, uh, even Greenspan, uh, who was uh, much more thought of highly in the 90s, uh, could not fight off the bond vigilantes. When those guys get to selling, uh, that's some real selling. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, a, a, a Spirit Agnew quote, you don't get many of those every day. The nattering nabobs of negativism. So now I think that uh, what we'll see here is uh, the same thing we saw in the 90s, and that is capitulation from the government officials who want to spend a lot of cash and uh, the people in the markets who ain't going to let them. Uh, we'll find out who actually is bigger. Uh, the question is not when, but uh, or not if, but when uh, the House probably gives up uh, an idea and maybe end up with something like $500 billion for a spending bill instead of $1.7 trillion or $3.5 trillion or really what it is, which is about $5.5 trillion when you really figure all the other ones they've already done up. So, no. Nope. Don't think, uh, don't think it has anything to do with other than that. I have a pretty simple view going forward, and it is that of the 1990s. And that is we have a lot of potential growth. We've got a lot of cash in the markets. The only thing that could kill it uh, would be uh, lots of government spending now. And that's really kind of what drove uh, the highs into 2000. The tax change really blew up the market. Maybe we get the same kind of thing going in the future, but uh, I don't see a lot of talk about uh, raising taxes, getting a lot of, uh, of uh, traction between now and the next midterms. But that's just my overall view. Uh, anyway, we've got some other things. Uh, I think that answers uh, the question for you. And I won't put his name out there, but he's a nice guy. Everybody's probably a little tense today. You just uh, don't do that. Okay, what else? Um, so have we found the lows? Don't think so. Uh, maybe getting a little bounce here now, but my guess is that we see selling into the close. And maybe we get one more retest tomorrow or Thursday. And then that would be it. But I don't see any reason to uh, be a hero today. We'll be back in a minute. We'll start going through a lot more charts. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And we have uh, Jimmy asking in the den, do Bond vigilantes need badges? He says he's just asking for a friend. Sergeant, we don't need no stinking badges. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like if you're involved in a criminal act, you have to laugh hysterically. I wonder if that, that actually happens in real life. Probably not. But uh, I did have that out there. Anyway, uh, we're off uh, at 78 points. Maybe a little bit of bounce here. I would watch for the last 30 minutes. I don't, th I don't think much is going to happen. As far as I uh, got a couple more questions coming in about uh, fund buying and what I would say, uh, window dressing will start. I don't think if I was a – just put your, your, your feet in a, being a fund manager. Do you want – uh, these uh, bond guys uh, selling everything off, you're going to wait until the last day possible. You've got the last uh, two or three days of the month to the first three days of the month. It's actually the last two days, first three days of the month uh, where you're supposed to be, but you don't have to be. They're not going to send out a, a, a posse looking for you, um, but they tend to get upset if you don't. Uh, be 100% invested. There's a difference between a money manager and a fund manager. Fund managers have a uh, kind of a contract, but eh, more of a suggestion uh, kind of thing, more of a eh, kind of that suggestion thing uh, than a rule. And that is that uh, they have to be long. But everybody pretty much knows that by the third, they better have most of their cash in because the money managers are going to hedge that position. So, but that gives you until next week. I don't think if I was a fund manager, would I be wanting to throw money at this market until I see what's going to happen uh, in the house and what the bond vigilantes are doing? I think you, these guys uh, generally don't get yelled at unless they uh, decide to try to be a hero. Um, and, you know, so they can put the price up for an hour while they're buying, and it just goes back down tomorrow. And they're pretty smart dudes. They're going to wait until the sure thing is in. They don't mind paying up a bit. And, of course, uh, it doesn't matter except on individual stocks what retail trailers do. right? I mean, there is a kind of a, a uh, Robin Hood thing where you can take one stock that's massively shorted and get enough people on a $1 stock and drive it to 40 and drive them batty. But a uh, bigger market, much bigger problem than that. Yes, Humphrey go go kart. He was the he was the man, wasn't he? Okay, what else do we have here? Oh, I had some more uh, questions. Uh, but yeah, we got that. We got that one handled. And 
The other stuff that you guys are writing in here about, I'm probably going to buy. I'm just not buying now. So wait for it in the newsletters. Uh, like I said, I'd rather buy knowing that it, I'm ready to turn or go higher or have some kind of big signal. But we have a lot of volume here and nothing, you know, if I see the TLT change, uh, but what do you got? 144.71. Uh, that's not going to do much to do it. I, maybe there isn't going to be a lot of movement for the end of the day. My guess is, though, as soon as the market closes, if it doesn't close well, you're going to see people back on that overnight. You may have some kind of nice overnight blowout, and maybe that's where it's time to buy. I just don't think that they're going to let anybody out easily uh, now. And how many people wish they would have sold on the bounce now? I'm thinking that's all I, what I always say. Sell when you can, not when you have to, because it stays like this, that if you're long, it just crushes your soul. It's soul crushing, a soul crusher, a crushing soul. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and look at a lot of other stuff here. We looked at the SMHs. Um, question about Intel. Uh, you know, it's already been hammered on, so not a big surprise. It's not going down more. I think a lot of people are still kind of thinking about them being the premier company here in the United States. It doesn't make them make money or any more money, let me put it that way. So could they just go sideways? They could. I still wouldn't want to be in this unless it tests that for uh, 5142, though. Uh, the energy on the way down was way too strong. Look at those two bars. Uh, 52... 32 is kind of the minimum that I'd want retested out here. Um, I actually spent a lot of time listening uh, to the semiconductor podcast over the last few weeks, um, as it's been pretty good. A lot of times just has a lot of inside baseball stuff, uh, not much that a trader could use. But uh, they had a good uh, analyst on who's uh, not part of the street. He's more of a uh, industry analyst than a street analyst. And uh, he had some good calls on uh, what really makes a good semiconductor company and how Taiwan Semiconductor really kind of put everybody else on the uh, ropes. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't see a whole lot going on here. I still think that uh, if we are looking at some of these other companies are much better buys, but we're going to have to have something in the way of some kind of significant low. Eh, we're down 65, so we're up a bit. What, uh, 27 points off the low? But uh, again, I think maybe we're going to see a little bit better prices in the coming days. Uh, unless someone can tell me that uh, they've all decided to give up in Washington on spending money. But uh, that is my thought. Okay. Um, oh, what else do we have here? Uh, I wanted to go through. we got a few more emails out here. Um, GDX, what do you say? Uh, one of the things that's uh, problematic about trading gold, uh, even if it goes nowhere, and that is if a market's going down, it's one of the easier things to sell at the very beginning of a downtrend in the market. Uh, this really hasn't popped back up uh, to any extent. you got some decent volume out here today. Uh, generally, the rule of thumb for me is if you do have a market uh, that is headed down strongly, the first couple of weeks, you want to stay out of gold as the indexes because guess what? It's one of the easier things to sell. And people send to sell the stuff that they shouldn't first and sell the stuff they sh should should keep. La uh, yeah, is that right? I'm saying it backwards. They tend to sell the stuff that they uh, shouldn't sell first and then get to the stuff when it really starts to hurt uh, that they should have sold at the beginning. And gold is generally no different on that, and at least in my opinion. Um, yeah, you could see a little bit more weakness. Uh, but generally then, if we have a extended downturn, and I'm wrong on the direction of the market, uh, midterm or even long term, uh, generally that's when you want to get into it. So I would just say, hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your fire, wait for the whites of their eyes. I think we can still see... If you're looking at equities, you'll see 
one more dip tomorrow or Thursday before we get in. We'll be back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we return... We're off uh, 70 on the uh, S&P cash. Is that? Yeah. Let's go ahead and update that just to make sure. Yeah, 70 down uh, 426 on uh, the Dow. Uh, NASDAQ down 340. Um, got a lot of volume. You know, I didn't like it last week when we didn't come back and retest these lows. Now we're down here again. I suspect you're probably going to see that. Um, these interday bounces probably don't mean a lot. Um, a lot of mar uh, market, uh, what would you call it, Beano probably needs to be handed around a bit. Uh, the real thing that matters is the close, and that's uh, the last 45 minutes of the day. We're going to find out what the big guys are actually thinking of doing here. And, of course, uh, all night tonight I was up, I think, at 445 or something this morning starting to look at this and seeing if I had anything um, for the newsletters which I think I'm better off buying the lows instead of trying to play something that could literally change in a heartbeat depending on what somebody says 
So if you're sitting in front of the market and you get, don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be leaving that mouse more for than a, for a second, because uh, all you have to do is go to the bathroom and you can find uh, the S and P probably up 50 or down 50 points. Uh, so it's going to be something where you're going to have to be rather committed to being there, uh, or being ma maybe massively wrong over the next few days. Uh, I do think that we turn the corner. I just don't know when. Maybe it's Friday, maybe it's Monday, maybe it's Thursday. Uh, but you'll see a pretty big move, and it'll be the capitulation uh, that we're looking for politically. And the bond vigilantes to back off. I don't think they have the uh, stomach to go through. Keep an eye on that TLT. 451 into the close. See you tomorrow.